Hello, my most amazing art students. So this is where we got to last time. So I'm just going to finish up um, <clears throat> with this, finish coloring it in, and um, then we're going to go ahead and paint. Um, and I'm going to grab my homemade watercolors that I made using um, old dried up markers. I stuck them in a container of water and then I let them soak for a few days and we'll see how well that worked. I'm trying not to go over the blue crayon because it keeps smearing into my um, into my coloring. So I'm trying to do nice solid work. I don't want to see that because if you scribble like that um, then your um, blue paint was going to fill in every crack and crevice of that, okay? And we want to have more flesh tone than, or skin tone than, than blue. Um, we just want the blue to kind of um, go wash, be a wash over our skin tone, okay? So, I'm going to color the eyelids a little bit. They're going to be mostly blue, okay? So that's pretty good. I'm going to take that pink and color on cheek right there. And I'm going to create, oh, I still have to color her, her hair. Add these orange tones like Picasso did. <clears throat> and some blonde in there. I think we're gonna, um, let me go, oh, I want to lose my green crayon, color in with that yellow, alright, so now we've got all those fun colors mixed into the hair, and I'm going to do a little bit more brown, get my blue paint. So you guys, I just took um, these type of Crayola markers and when they were dried up and they weren't coloring anymore, I stuck them in just water in this container and let them soak for a few days to get the color, the rest of the color out. Let me move all my crayons and stuff off, out of the way here. So I put my painting mat down my messy mat and you know what I didn't do is a design on her shirt so let me go ahead and do that I think I'll do use purple so I'm just gonna do a squiggly line up and down a couple times and then I'm gonna go the opposite direction on to get make a pattern you guys like patterns <clears throat> there we go. Just to have something fill this one in really nice and solid. Because Picasso used some purples in there too, I think. Blues and purples and greens. We'll probably finish this up after we do our turkey project. I'll po post this one. All right, because I want everyone to be able to draw a fun turkey for Thanksgiving. Okay, so there's that. So now I have my paintbrush and my paint. And I'm going to go in and just start um, painting all the way across really quickly. We don't want to focus. See how the white that I colored the plate is resisting? That paint looks so cool. Oops, look, you can tell where I missed a spot. No big deal. Most of it, I got most of it. Our shirt's gonna be blue. Let's pull it down here. And we wanna paint over the whole thing, her face too. Or his face if you're doing your own. And then I don't want to have beads of 
color um, on her face. So I'm going to wipe those. Uh, like if there's a big pieces of uh, pieces, big bubbles of paint on there, splashes of paint, just kind of wipe with your dry brush over the face to to pull those off and pull the paint out to the sides. So there is the finished Le Gourmet. It's beautiful. Thank you guys for joining me today and finishing up. Have a wonderful day.